Prince Harry was snubbed when he tried to meet with his brother Prince William during the Platinum Jubilee, according to reports. The olive branch moved by the Duke of Sussex, 37, took place while he visited the UK for the four-day celebration of the Queen's 70 years on the throne. Since leaving for the US in early 2020 Harry has reportedly had a strained relationship with his elder sibling, despite the pair being close when they were young. Tensions came to a head last year after he and wife Meghan Markle took part in an explosive interview with US chat show host Oprah Winfrey in which he suggested that William was trapped inside the royal family. While it was reported more recently that the brothers were trying to get over their differences ahead of the Jubilee, a royal source has now claimed William is concerned that he may leak their private conversations to the US media if they meet alone. An insider based in the UK told, Things are still fraught, William is still wary of spending any time alone with Harry as you never quite know what may be reported back afterwards. Royal biographer Angela Levin tells why there is no end in sight for this simmering feud. The barriers to a reconciliation between Prince William and his brother are a lack of trust in Harry and his unwillingness to fit into William's increasingly full diary of royal work. Harry once told me that William was the only person he could trust. But the Duke of Cambridge now knows that when Harry talks to any royal, he repeats it on a TV channel in America. You can't have an honest heart-to-heart -heart talk with someone being paid by Netflix. The royal family are also waiting for the publication of Harry's memoirs before deciding whether to improve relations with him. What is the point of repairing the damage if Harry is going to tear it all apart again with more attacks on William and Charles? Another major issue is that William's diary is full up for a year ahead. The Duke of Cambridge is going to be incredibly busy taking on more of the Queen's workload, and it is up to Harry and Meghan to fit into his schedule. Harry once said to me he wanted to support William because this role is such a burden but he doesn't want to be a full-time royal anymore. That is fine, if the Duke of Sussex wants a completely different life in the US, he can have it. But you don't then pretend to be an alternative monarchy by being so superior and rushing off back home. I think Harry and Meghan expected a very warm welcome and that everyone would drop everything for them. In reality the royals were rushed off their feet during the four-day platinum jubilee. I think Harry was at fault because he could have come over to see his brother when things were quiet enough for a serious conversation. You can't undo the level of hurt with a two-minute chat. Harry attacked William by saying his brother was trapped in the monarchy, and hurt Catherine, who William is very protective of. The problem is that Harry thinks the royals should apologize to him, but in fact he should apologize to the whole of the royal family. He has really bruised it. William is very proud. I think it is Catherine who is more likely to show forgiveness. She comes from a stable family where differences would be sorted out. When you come from a dysfunctional home like Harry and William, it is much harder to let bygones be bygones. Neither Harry and William nor Meghan and Catherine even glanced at each other during the service at St. Paul's Cathedral on Friday. William was focused on the Thanksgiving service, which wasn't the time for backslaps or winks. Harry wears his heart on his sleeve, so it was obvious he was shocked to be put on the right, while Camilla and Charles were on the left. He is sixth in line to the throne and expected to be with them. Instead he was with the people who aren't working royals and, as a result, had a furious look on his face. I think small children can bridge a divide and the presence of Harry's one-year-old daughter Lilibet could have helped soothe relations if there had been more time. I'm sure if all the children had got together for Lilibet's birthday, that would have broken the ice. But this estrangement won't end until Harry apologizes for saying that William is trapped. <laughs>